Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Dude, it is 61 degrees out. It is a beautiful start to the week as we go into mid-March here in Michigan. And a lot of you guys are asking me questions about CRMs like Jobber, Yardbook, LMN, QuickBooks, all, all this stuff. So here's what I wanna do for five to seven minutes, maybe just break some of this down, uh, down for you guys really quick and talk to you about how we're managing the back end of our business with our lawn care software and just answer some questions that I've been getting from you guys lately as we all burst in the spring and we start rock and roll. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So a lot of you have been asking me all these questions about Yardbook and CRMs and all this other mess. And so let's just slow it all down. Slow it down. We got to slow down so we can speed up as we go into the upcoming season, right? So here's the deal. If you guys are new to the lawn and landscape industry or business or being self-employed, there is a great way to manage your business on the back end. It's called a CRM. Let's just call it lawn care software for short, right? And there is a plethora of options out there. There's so many options. Uh, it's not even funny. I use Yardbook and uh, full disclosure, Yardbook is a partner to the channel. They partner Brian's Lawn Maintenance, which is really cool. Super thankful about that. Uh, but as you guys have seen, there's a lot of other people promoting and using Jobber, LMN. Uh, uh, there's so many more to go. I mean, there's you know, here's the deal. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you guys are using by the end of this video. Here's what I wanted to do is just take five or 10 minutes and talk to you guys about the value of using a CRM, uh, the differences between maybe some of the different brands that I've noticed and then options you got out there. And if you're a QuickBooks guy uh, only, or you're a, you know, an Excel file only kind of person, let me give you guys some uh, pros uh, that you can uh, benefit from using a CRM. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, we have been using Yardbook for the last three years. Now, uh, Yardbook has been a game changer for my business because I was that guy just four or five years ago, having everything on Excel spreadsheets and invoicing and carbon copies and dude, it was a nightmare. Let's just be honest. Now, as you guys know, the last three or four years, I have massively changed my business, cleaned up my business on the back end. In fact, it was honestly a, a sore point. So if you guys are ever feeling that way, like, oh, I just don't know what to do or I can't get organized or uh, honestly, here's where I was. Every time I'd go into the season, I would declare that I'm going to change how I'm running my business uh, and we would uh, solve these problems, accounting problems, payroll problems, HR problems, like whatever they were, right? And then we got busy. Then the phone started ringing 16 times a day and I just kind of always threw it under the rug. I don't know if you guys can relate, but that's just me being completely honest with you guys. So about three, four years ago, when I jumped on YouTube, I asked you guys, I said, hey, what CRM are you guys using to manage a business like mine? And I want to preface this whole conversation with a business like mine, a maintenance business doing some snow removal, some light landscaping, softscaping, doing $250,000 a year, let's just say, right? Because uh, that's who I am. That's a lot of you guys who I'm talking to. Now, in my observation and in my, you know, massive plethora of knowledge and uh, grand context of the whole lawn care industry, right? I'm just having fun, okay? What I've noticed is that if you're running a smaller business, something like Yardbook is absolutely all you need, okay? Yardbook has so many features as is. It is a massively powerful platform to run your business. Now, here's the deal. I will be totally honest with you too. Just like my, my iPhone, I only use 5% of what my iPhone does or offers, right? Like I use email, I use text messaging, I use like my podcast, uh, podcasting, but that's about it. Like I don't use, uh, but five or 10% of what my iPhone can actually do. Well, Yardbook is the same way. If you guys are looking to, at a simple level, organize and compile your customer data into one online software, that's what I would encourage you guys to do. If it's Yardbook, Job, or LMN, let's just keep it simple. Start there. Get your business out of your head. Get your business off papers and carbon copy this and Excel files that and dump them all into one area, uh, one part, uh, one spot that you can keep everything organized, maintained. You have history logs, invoice logs, uh, you know, customer data, uh, your emails, the phone numbers, their, their name, their addresses. That's what a CRM is designed to help you guys do. So I'm talking to the first camp who are maybe just getting in business or you're going from part time to full time. You're, you're starting and going part time as a weekend warrior. Even if you're only doing five, 10, 20 grand a year in business, you should have a CRM from the beginning because here's what I'll tell you. 
as your business continues to grow, it's going to be super difficult and super frustrating to go back through 10, 20, 50, 100, 500 customers and compile all this information like their name, their number, their address, their email, uh, blah, 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 right? So let's just start with something simple, okay? Now, here's the deal. I want to talk to you guys for just a few minutes about the difference between Jobber, LMN, and Yardbook. Here's, here's the deal. I can't speak to the different features and functions about, Yard, uh, about Jobber or or LMN. I don't use their software. I wanted to talk to you more about the uh, the information you're consuming out there, okay? A lot of guys are promoting a lot of different things. Awesome. I'm excited for those folks to have those sponsorships uh, to promote. I mean, th that's awesome. Like We have a partnership with Yardbook. Fantastic. But I've told you guys all the time, that I will not, uh, you know, change who I promote or what brand I promote or talk about anything that we don't personally use or haven't used before to promote it to our audience. Now, I'm not saying everybody with J uh, Jobber or uh, LMN do that by any means. There's a lot of guys, like my friend Mike Bedell, he's been using Jobber for a decade, right? Um, so awesome, he's promoting Jobber, good for him. You know, you have to figure out what kind of business model you're running, your numbers, what size of your company, and the different features that each one offers. So that's where I would say is demo with a free trial all the different softwares out there and get uh, familiar with it. See what you guys like and see if it's gonna make sense for you and your business and the way you have your workflow set up. For me, Yardbook is, it's lean, it's mean, it's great. It's its for a maintenance company like mine, running a quarter million bucks a year or less. We can we can do damage with Yardbook, with my invoicing, my charge card on file system, uh, emailing estimates, uh, using the mapping and the routing software. Fantastic, fantastic plat platform. And here's the deal, it's essentially free. A lot of you guys have been asking me if we use the premium version or anything like that. I still do not. Like, even though we're working with them, I don't have like a premium upgraded account. Now, Here's one question I have for you guys that are using Yardbook. Are you guys using the premium version or not? If so, leave me a comment in the comment section down below because I understand Quick, uh, QuickBooks can integrate with everything. So let me know if you guys are doing that because that's something I'm gonna evaluate as we go into this upcoming season. Now, here's the deal. You still have to run your backend accounting and saw, uh, uh, finances and your taxes with a, a good office management tool like a QuickBooks. Like we use QuickBooks online. Um, my bookkeeper gets to tag in with that conversation my CPA gets to tag in, they talk to each other. In fact, they tell me what to do, okay? I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I My role is to sell and grow the company. Now, let's go back full circle to Jobber and LMN. Um, as you guys have seen, like Jobber to me, um, and again, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts, is running a company that might do more than just maintenance, more than just mulch. If you're running crews, uh, maybe a little bit larger company, um, so on and so forth, that's what maybe you might want to um, graduate to with Jobber. Now, LMN, you guys just saw on my uh, one of my most recent videos with Troy Clark. Troy Clark runs a couple million dollar year business and to me that's that enterprise level software like the service autopilot uh, pros and the lmns and some of these larger uh softwares here's the thing they come with a premium price point for about 300 dollars a month now again there's always different promotions and trial periods and this and that so again you know filter it through a brain cell do your research and figure out what makes the most sense for you but when i look at a larger outfit that is uh, using LMN, to me, that makes more sense. I don't think my sub $250,000 a year company is gonna benefit from running a CRM that costs $300 a month. Just to be honest with you guys, uh, I'm not you know making any points or digs or anything like that. I'm just talking about my uh, personal uh, opinion and observation. $300 a month is a brand new zero turn for me. It's half my truck payment. It's a third of a mortgage or rent. Like, I don't know if my business doing 10, 15, 20, $25,000 a month needs to spend $300 on a CRM when I can use a free CRM like Yardbook that might have a 1% processing fee, uh, so on and so forth when you do credit card payments, okay? So again, I don't have all the answers. I wanna lean on you guys. What are you guys using out there? Again, don't just look at what people are using now. Look at what people have used in the past. If they've used Jobber and they're promoting Jobber now and they've used it in the past, send it, right? If they're not using something and they're using it now, filter it through a brain cell. And you know what? Maybe those people weren't using something and they're finding a ton of value in what they're using now. That's totally fair. Just maybe shoot some DMs, ask some questions, see what makes sense, and again, take their opinion and this is what i always say on youtube say on youtube take somebody else's opinion my reviews and then go and do your own demos trials and reviews on your own that's the only thing i'd say now again 
Troy Clark's using LMN. I know uh, some of the larger outfits are using that. Some of the medium sized companies might be using Jobber. And if you're doing quarter million, half a million dollars or less, Yardbook is absolutely all you need in my observation, in my opinion. So one other thing I wanted to just uh, cover was a couple of frequently asked questions you guys get. And some that I have uh, that I want to ask you guys as well while I got you. Number one is fees. Who processes the credit card fees or do we do we uh, tag those onto our customers? In the past, I have always said no uh, because I came from Stripe, not Stripe, I came from Square. And from Square, I was just running credit cards. It, uh, a Square is to process payment, but it's not to build customer profiles necessarily, okay? So I don't know their routes, uh, where they're on my route, their yard size, how much yards of mulch it took. I can't build out a customer profile on just a credit card processing platform like Square. Now, it might have changed since the time this video has come out, but for me, three years ago, uh, that's all I was using was process credit cards, process credit cards. Well, Yardbook is processing credit cards, but it's also being able to manage my business. So there's two ores in the water when you have a good uh, CRM like a Jobber, LMN, or Yardbook. Does that make sense? Okay, so last thing I'll, I'll just wrap up with was the, the thought about credit card processing fees. In the past, I never did a charge the percentage-based or the, the $3 minimum, I think it is, processing fee. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about whether or not you guys do or are or have in the past because in the past i never did i ate that cost as a business owner it's it's a deduction we can write it off but when you start having four to five thousand dollars of fees um that adds up so here's what i'm thinking in 2020 more than likely i'm going to enable the three dollar processing fee feature to be applied for our residential clients that we do the charge card on file it's a nominal fee for them it's a convenience fee as we'll call it um, but it's a good way for me to recoup that five thousand dollars of operating expense again it all adds up two three years ago i was transitioning everybody from just an invoice system to a charge card on file system i was already uh rocking the boat uh if you will and i didn't want to upset anybody more than we already have right two to three years now later and as new clients sign up I think that we're able to bridge that gap with starting with that charge card on file fee for three dollars it really really helps now again my commercial clients a lot of you guys always ask we still invoice all of those are net 30 so that fee wouldn't really apply to them any which way all right so that's my quick update i love yardbook they're doing great if i was not sponsored by yardbook i wouldn't care like i would be like oh darn there goes some sponsorship money on the channel but I don't even care anymore. Like, I don't care about that kind of stuff. I want to continue to bring value to you guys, shoot the truth with you guys, and just tell you how I'm running my personal business. And even if we weren't sponsored by Yardbook, I would absolutely still use them to manage, run, and grow my business. And by the way, nothing against uh, Yardbook, or I'm um, sorry, nothing against Jobber, nothing against Element. Of course, great CRMs, great options for you guys. Again, just figure out your profile of your business, what makes sense for you, demo and trial, See if you like the lay of the land of everything. See if it integrates with QuickBooks. And no matter what, the bottom line is that all these different companies, there are resources and tools for you guys to grow a more successful business. And as you guys know, that's what I'm all about, okay? That's what this channel is here for. So again, I think we're all doing a great job at elevating the professionalism of the loan and landscape industry. We're all trying to run real successful businesses and that is huge. And so if you aren't using a CRM, you pick your favorite one, you pick your poison, doesn't make any difference to me. I think if you guys are looking for a great CRM, if you're just running to 250 you got yard book if you're running maybe a little bit larger company maybe jobber and if you're running a little bit more of an enterprise level uh, business model and you got multiple crews and multiple different spinning plates maybe check out an sap or an lmn all right no sponsorships in this video not nobody's paying me to make this video i'm just shooting it straight with you guys hopefully you guys appreciate the truth the honesty and you guys just want to continue to grow out uh, go out there and grow and crush your business hey it's 61 degrees i'm gonna get out of here go grab some lunch and start working on some estimates all right we'll see you guys